Hey guys, this is Tom at VSC, and this is our L5P fuel system saver year in review and question and answer session. So after selling a few thousand of these devices, we've got several questions from our users that have came in through here. Um, I'm gonna go through those one at a time. Is this a uh, system of lift pump? So it's probably because we run two filters in series on a block that looks a lot like an aftermarket lift pump. I can assure you guys this is not a lift pump for the L5P. The L5P has a lift pump in the tank that sits under a fluid column of diesel fuel and then it puts diesel fuel right through the, the factory uh, fuel block um, or through our system. So it's not a lift pump at all. It's a fuel filtration device. Uh, gelling is another question we've had a lot of uh, people comment about. So this is the factory L5P fuel system filter head. So it looks similar to the in and out flow directions that we have on our modified block. So if you take the factory block apart and look, there is a fuel heater that sits right here. And this heats the diesel fuel up. This guy sits right inside of our filter head. This hits, heats the diesel fuel up and, and it'll minimize gelling. But I guarantee you that all diesel systems can gel up. They will gel. You run crappy fuel in this country with no additive when it's super cold out, it's gonna gel up. Uh, it's just the way that it is. We've seen some of our devices gel up. Uh, the, the biggest benefit of it is if our system gels up unlike the factory, the factory you'd have to take this component apart and get this filter out. Um, sometimes these crack and break, uh, this piece of plastic here. Ours, you just replace the two filters. And the cool thing about this is these aren't gonna break. You can literally take these off uh, by hand and then replace them on the side of the road. Keep a couple of these in your truck if you need be. Will this work with aftermarket fuel tanks like SMB and, and Titans? So the answer is yes. We designed this to fit in the location of the factory fuel filter housing. Some of the Titans, our users have told us, they fit really tight right here on the side that would fit next to the tank. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a little tight with some of the Titan tanks, the SMB. Uh, there's a lot of room for them, so they will, they will fit. Um, what we've heard on the Titans, you may have to bar the tank over uh, ever so slightly to get this guy in place. Um, and I'm not sure if that's a bracket issue, issue or what, but I just know that they do work with our systems. Will this thing save you fuel? Absolutely not. It is not, this is not designed to save fuel. It's designed to save the fuel system or at least give it the best opportunity to live. These two filters running in series are designed to pre-filter and post-filter diesel fuel. We found a lot of L5Ps fuel, fail the fuel filters and injection systems over time because of the little filter that's ran. There's a little Chevy Cruze filter part number. So the idea is that we're saving the fuel system, hopefully, from a lot of large debris contaminants. Um, why does the filter have such an issue? We've had some questions about that, so we're gonna lay them side by side. So this is a factory filter. This has 5,000 miles on it. And what happens when diesel fuel comes through this guy, it tends to collapse this filter down in on itself, and it'll push the debris field through the filter housing and put it right into the fuel system. There is no secondary filter on an L5P. This is all you got. So this is out of one of my shop trucks. This had 15,000 miles on it. And by the way, the book recommends a change every 15,000. So again, 5,000 on this. These had 15,000 on them. This is the water filter. And this is the post filter. And if you look, we're filtering pre and post diesel fuel. So when you filter like this, there's a better opportunity of catching more debris than just this one filter. We went away from this filter because it tends to collapse on itself, especially when it gels up. When this tends to gel, it will let some of the debris field come through and get right into the HP4, the high pressure pump. So it is what it is. Warranty. This is made in America. In fact, it's made right here in this room. This, this piece actually starts with a block of 6061 billet aluminum. We machine it on our five axis mill and our VF4. 
we shape it into this guy, which turns into this without a backing plate on it. We make the filters, uh, the fuel filter fittings here in house uh, over on one of our lathes. And we make the machine thread fittings here too. So all this stuff is made in America right in this room. This is the room that we manufacture turbochargers in too. This is made in America. It's a lifetime warranty for fit and finish. This is a very durable component. Um, we recently went to a powder coating process. So again, protected for lifetime for uh, manufacture defects on what it would look like, like blemishes and stuff like that. So if it starts to blemish, send that guy back. It's under warranty. Future vehicle support. So this is what we got coming out of the pipeline. L5D, uh, those are medium duty trucks. The L5P cabin chassis trucks. The LM2 and LZZ owners, those are the LZ0 and the LM2s, those are your three liter Duramaxes. Those are very close to being finished up. Those are hit the market in the next month. Um, and we're pretty excited to get the cabin chassis. I know a lot of people have asked us about cabin chassis support. That is a super tight fit. Um, people that are copying this, they're gonna have a hard time getting that thing in place. Uh, speaking of copies, we've seen a couple people, uh, in fact, one major, major, major manufacturer copy this. We don't really care. This is America. This is a patented device now, so do what you want. If you feel like that's the best thing to do, is copy people's stuff. So be very careful about buying something that's copied. This is what went into this block. When we manufactured this and started doing testing over a year ago, uh, here in Nebraska where it gets super cold, what we found is that we had to have the right differential pressure across this block. We had to mimic the factory characteristics of this filter head while running two filters, meaning that we had to port this block at a very high level so we could get the right flow characteristics across it. It was not the easiest thing to do. So if it is not right, it will set a check engine light um, in the truck. So be wary of that. Complaints, here's some complaints. So I think as a company, it's, it's the best thing to talk about the issues that we've had with this product when we release it. So when this is in place, the factory filter head, this is super tight. These fittings are hard to get off. I get it, they're a quick connect fitting, squeeze the locking tab, pull the connector off. This is even tighter when it gets in place. When we fit this guy up there, these connections are super tight. So when you push the connector over, I know it feels uncomfortable, but just push it over the end of this fitting, it'll snap in place, it will not leak, it'll be done. Another um, complaint we've had, this area, it's a little tighter than factory. We do not want this thing to leak. If you guys follow the instructions, it says to lubricate the O-ring, and the O-ring is on this guy. There's a lubricated O-ring right here. Um, put diesel fuel on this, shove this down on this block, and I promise it will fit. It'll go right down in there. Um, it is meant to be a little bit tighter than the factory. Another complaint that we've had, and I don't know where this stems from, but these filters, and it's, it's actually down to this filter, this comes sealed when you guys get this. We don't open these up, we don't install these on the block. We don't know how tight this separator drain valve is. When you put this in place, just like any other filter that's got a drain valve on it, check this guy tight, make sure this is tight. If it gets super cold out and you've never checked this, the rubber diaphragm in here will shrink and this thing will start to leak. When we first started doing these, I didn't even think about it and we had one start leaking diesel fuel out. So check this guy tight, fill this full of diesel fuel, install it into the, the filter head. Um, and lastly, support on these. If you guys have any questions on install, if you guys have any questions, especially the dealers, if you have any questions when you're selling these, uh, do not hesitate to reach out. Call us. You can hit us on Instagram, Facebook. We got the dealer line always open, so don't be hesitant to give us a call. That's all we got. Thanks.